So, we have made it to data breakpoints, one of my favorites, and certainly what I think is one of the great um, debugging capabilities of MPLAB X. So, we have context, we're going to look at count as both a local variable and a global symbol, and what are the differences in terms of setting data breakpoints on these two types of variables. Then we'll start looking to break on a specific value written to the transfer buffer register of the UART. Essentially, what we're going to be doing is setting data breakpoints on a local variable, on global symbols, and on special function registers. So, the data breakpoint is a breakpoint that suspends program execution when a specific data address is accessed. The kind of place where data breakpoints are used, for example, to view machine state when a variable is accessed, to view machine state when a specific value is read or written to a variable, for example, to catch incorrect data, or to determine if a data memory location is ever used. Let's dive in. So, if we're in main, let's, well, let's start a debug session again if we aren't in one already. So we're running, and if we just pause and reset, we know that we will break in main. And anywhere in main, we are in the scope of a variable like count, and it's been assigned an address of 6a. So now we can set a data breakpoint on count 6a. Let's try a break when we write a value to it of 7. Run. And you can see we have written to count and the value is 7. And the address was 6a. So now let's modify the project a little bit and make count a global variable. So hitting the debug button again will build the debugging again and start the program running. And we're running and let's pause and reset again. So Remember the breakpoint was on 6a, and now count is on 6e, so the address has moved around as we expect. Now we could just find the address again like that, but also we can now set a breakpoint, and we should find count as a symbol. Now you will find anything with small letters. Um, after all of these capital letters, which are the special function registers, and that is actually alphabetically arranged. Okay, count 6e. I'm going to write a specific value. Let's make it 8 this time. Okay, and you see we break as expected on count. Now, a little note here, data breakpoints are easiest with registers or global symbols. You can use symbol button to access the list of globals and special function registers like I did now. But local variables are a little trickier because they're allocated on the stack and the address can move around. So you can set a data breakpoint on a local variable if you know its current address, but it will be valid only under specific circumstances. So that's a little disclaimer against this demo. Okay. But let's get back to the UART again. So, running to cursor on printf, we'll find our source file here, uart1.c, go to the navigator file, UART write. So, you can see that tx1red has an address of 11a. Okay, so I can. Data, look for a symbol. You can see it finds that address. Now I can get to the same point as what I have here by right clicking new data breakpoint and it completes that first point. But in order to now set a specific value in order to break or read or write on, let's just quickly 
access the ASCII table. And what I'm looking for is the exclamation point, which has a value of hex 21. So I'm going to break on writing a specific value of 21 to this register. And let's run. And you can see that comes up soon enough. So let's look at this now on the MPLAB data visualizer. It was on COM4, so connecting. Selecting a source of COM4. See, he has hello world. <coughs> Must just check my breakpoint. And if I make my breakpoint active, you can see that it actually breaks on that exclamation point as expected. But if I go back to my main source code, you can see that I have a couple of exclamation points in my project. And if I reset and run, I, that was part of the first one. So now I'm breaking on the first hello world in net. And you can see that there's a, a character which is still buffered there. What if I would like to not break on this line but break only on this one. Well, that's going to be a sequence breakpoint, and we'll cover that in the next video.